Gravity is a fly. Three hundred years of field experiments have proven that acceleration cannot add up to high speeds for any object or any created kind. You see, there's this incredibly intelligent process that gravityists are quite unaware of. It's called attraction. It's been estimated that only one out of every three species of life escape this attractive force and become permanently rooted to the ground. You see, gravity is supposed to cause things to fall to the ground and die. But you see birds, they don't fall to the ground, do they? They don't come crashing down and die, do they? They stay up, and so do insects. And that's because the hand of God is holding them up there. They are meant to fly, and so they do. But if gravity were true, then they would all fall to Earth. You know, some gravityists tell me that they can fly because of atmosphere and speed. But insects don't fly at high speeds. Oh, well, they make excuses and they say that insects are light and they flap their wings really fast. That's absurd. I mean, you try to flap your arms really fast and see if you can fly. It's ridiculous. It's an excuse. But you can find with your browser, you know, dozens, even dozens upon dozens of research papers by gravityist scientists which prove that things can fly, contradicting their gravity theory. Oh, well, but if men were meant to fly, well, they would have, why would they have airplanes? Well, those that do fly, they're in direct defiance of God's will. Face it, people, God intended you to stay put on the ground. He didn't intend for you to fly. He intended for you to stay on the ground. He didn't intend for you to fly. He intended to stay on the ground. And if you go into a tin can, then you're defying God's will. And you will answer for it in the coming judgment of the world. You know, gravityists try to get around this by claiming that those planes that do fly are really falling. It's a function of friction and acceleration and lift over the force of gravity. But they're flyers. That's all they're doing is flying. Using occult magic from the atheist paganist religion of Satan to make their heathenist death traps fly. And occasionally, God punishes them by making planes crash. It's not real. The reason we don't fly off into space as gravity is claim is because space is up and gravity is down. And God is pushing us down with his thumb of truth. So really those that continue to believe in gravity, well, you see they're operating on faith. They're in great denial of the truth. It amazes me how people believe this stuff. You know, they hear a guy in a video on YouTube, oh yeah, it happens, and they swallow it. They believe on faith. Repent and turn to God before it's too late. Now, as those of you who are sane may have gathered, this was a satirical take on a common creationist YouTube video. However, regrettably, there are some people out there who are so fanatical about their beliefs that they will actually take this seriously, as has been demonstrated by another satirical video on YouTube and another user who did take it seriously. Such people unfortunately do not have any sense of logical reason, and as such, 
There is only one thing that you can often do with such people, 